Hi, back again in the laboratoire, also known as the lab. And this time it's gonna be a little bit different in that I'm going to be talking about something that I don't actually have a full bottle of. And that is because a very dear friend of mine sent me some samples of some fragrances that he wanted me to get my nose onto so that he could get my thoughts, which I did provide to him, but I thought it would be good to share it with everyone here as well. Needless to say, I didn't like all of them. And the first two, and basically the only two that I didn't like, I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And for the purposes of this video, because I didn't like them and I don't ever see me wearing them, I thought, hey, maybe someone else might like these and so that I can gift them onto someone who's watching this video. Now, I will give away two of these, one to one person and the other to another person. They each have about two mils, which is a decent size for you to get a wearing and get an understanding of what these fragrances are about. So without further ado, we can kick off. But before we do, some of the rules. What's the rules? I've never done one of these before. It's a giveaway uh, and I've never done a giveaway before. Now, a couple of rules, one is, you have to be in Australia, otherwise I can't send these to you. There's some law that prevents me from sending fragrances overseas uh, unless I have a dangerous goods license, which I don't have last time I checked. So this giveaway is only open to Australian residents. Rule number two is that you must be a subscriber. Rule number three is that you need to like this video, all the regular stuff. So be a subscriber. If you're not subscribed, click the notification bell and leave a comment to let me know which one you want, whether you want the first one I'm gonna talk about or the second one, all right? And of course, please watch all the rest of my videos as well and tell all your friends and your friends' friends. Awesome, let's get into it. The first one, and look, a lot of people do like these fragrances because I read up on them on the review boards and everything, and they're quite popular. Uh, so the first one, is uh, from a fragrance brand that I, I've never really delved into too much because their offerings are always quite the same. And well, this is the only one that I've really had a chance to wear properly and to look into and surprisingly or unsurprisingly, I didn't like it. As a matter of fact, I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I, I want you to have it. I will, I, I'm, I'm actually taking money out of my pocket to send it to you so that you can have it and I don't. That's how much I don't like this fragrance. It is this little sample here, and for the love of me, I don't wanna smell it, but I will. God damn it. It is Intense Cafe by Montal. God damn, it's awful. It's this candied rose, jammy kind of rose. It's supposed to have some coffee in it, which I can't smell, which is a terrible combination. If you put rose and coffee together, hey, let's put rose and jammy rose and coffee together, said nobody ever. Spices and coffee, sure. Cardamom and coffee, sure. Leather and coffee, all right. Patchouli and coffee, that's a mocha. But rose and coffee? I don't know why. I have no idea why someone thought it would be a good idea. Many people like it. I don't. So there it is. I've got two mils here in this sample and it can be yours provided you like the video and be a subscriber and leave a comment telling me if you want this one. I won't go too much into it in the fact that you will notice that my, arm, uh, my arms have no more hair on them because I decided well, first of all, I decided that I would spray this uh, onto my daughter because I smelled this through the cap and I thought, oh my God, I already hate this without even having sprayed it on anyone's skin. So I thought I'd spray it on my daughter and I sprayed it on my daughter in one, uh, one evening and it just made me not want to talk to her anymore. That's how bad it is. And then I thought, look, let's just be fair. Maybe I should just spray it on myself and give myself a testing. And usually when I test things, I test it on a forearm because my forearm has hair on it and the hair absorbs the juice, which means that it lasts longer, okay? Then rather, rather than just spraying it on skin, especially you know, during the summertime where I'm not as hydrated as I, as I should be. So I spray it on my forearm and I, I just, I was trying to get through 
to the bass notes and I, I really did my best, but I just didn't make it. I didn't make it. I wanted to wash it off. So I tried to wash it off. But of course, Montal fragrances are quite beastly. They're quite strong and they're quite present in that, you know, they're, they're really in your face. So uh, I tried to wash it off. I couldn't wash it off. So I had to shave my arm. And so I shaved a patch off and, and that didn't look very good. So I shaved the rest of it off and then one arm shaved, one arm not shaved also looked very weird. So now both my arms are shaved and my head and my face. Thanks to Montal's Intense Cafe. Cheers. Now I should caveat this and say that, look, Rose is probably my most hated fragrance note. I don't like it. I'm one of these people that doesn't, that, that just doesn't like the note of rose in fragrances, especially the ones that are rose forward and they have jammy roses, okay? Rose petals, rose stems, young roses, airy roses, transparent roses, dark roses, yes, jammy, candied, Mm -mm. And that's mostly due to me growing up in the Middle East where rose water is pretty much present or omnipresent in every bloody dessert, which, you know, I have a sweet tooth and that's, that's all I ate. So maybe that's why I've been scarred by the scent of rose. Now, I do like uh, fragrances that have rose as a bit player or a background player. Things like uh, Flora Botanica, beautiful fragrance. Things like Dior en Parfum, there's a rose in there, absolutely adore it, okay? But things like this, things like Portrait of a Lady, God damn it, hate them, absolutely. So one man's hate is maybe someone else's love. So there you go, you can have this. Also, I should mention that the very kind friend of mine who gifted me all of these samples is a Fraghead, obviously, he loves his fragrances and he's really into the high quality niche stuff. And he's also a brilliant photographer. So I've left his Instagram link uh, down in the comments below. Please go there and give him a follow. Check out his photos. He's absolutely a top notch photographer and he knows his fragrances just as well as any other frag head does. So there you go. The next thing I'm gonna hate on is of course, uh, well not of course, but it is something by Bond number no. nine. This one is called Lafayette Street by Bond number no. nine. Uh, and I, I, whilst, I, whilst my hatred on this is not as great as something like, you know, uh, Intense Cafe, because that had rose in it and I'm not a fan of that. This one is just, I, I just don't get it. They want to charge four or 500 bucks for a bottle of this and it just smells so utterly synthetic. It smells super synthetic. Everyone says it smells exactly the same as Dunhill's Desire Red, which may be true, but I think I've smelt that once and I didn't like that. So there was no chance that I would like this, an even more potent version of that. So there we are, bond number nine. When I sprayed it on, I thought, God damn it, that has got that, that not nice density where it just goes, here I am, here's all of me in my chemical glory. There is nothing, nothing good about this. Any, any, the, the scent, it's the scent itself that it's, it seems like it is just cheap. It is, it, it, if it was 2001 and this was released, I could totally see it getting super popular, but this is quite a recent release, this Lafayette Street. And uh, I, I must say anything, so far I've smelled Bond number no. nine, maybe about uh, seven or eight of their lineup and I haven't been impressed by any of them, uh, especially considering how much they wanna charge for those pieces of shits. So, Here's bond number nine is another one that I really didn't like and therefore it is your chance to have it because it looks like, according to the reviews, there are a lot of people that do like it. I'm not even gonna mention the notes because I don't think there's actual real notes that have been used in this. It's just chemical-esque. It's just a melange of sweet chemicals that just last forever for, for some ungodly reason they've made it last for a very long time. Look, this one, to be fair, it did mellow out in the base and it was okay. 
it was it was possible but to me it reminded me a lot of 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 uh, seductive homme noir by guess and that's a 30 dollar a bottle fragrance and that was better than this that's actually better than this so i'd recommend that over this one so there you go but in any case some people might like to have a sample of a niche fragrance just to try it out themselves and if you don't like it maybe you can gift it to someone else and this can do the rounds why not anyway uh that's the video of the two samples that i received that i didn't like which i'm gifting or um giving away uh to a lucky viewer a lucky subscriber who will uh, subscribe and like and live in Australia and leave a comment telling me which one you want I'll pick them out at random and uh, yeah one person can have the intense cafe and the other one can have the Lafayette Street so there we are that's it and thanks for watching